I have had these photographs um, in many different forms, some of them as slides, some of them as dog-eared prints, some of them just on black and white negatives, for four decades now, and they'd been gathering dust in a box, and I hadn't ever done very much with them. I had printed a few as to illustrate articles, but the vast majority had never seen the light of day. Um, and so I spoke to a restorer who works with museums, and after his initial shock at the state of them, he said, yes, I can do something with these. And he thought they were interesting, perhaps even important, because of, because of where they were taken, when they were taken, and, and, and so on. So I went for it, and um, that's the genesis of the show. And I, I printed 40, because that number is significant at the moment. One of the important things is that this is a Falkland Islanders view. I was there, and I took photographs, and they do show what it was like, particularly to be in Stanley uh, at that time. And I think that's important. The quality of the photographs, some of them is not, it's not brilliant. Some of them are snapped, you know, point and shoot, and, and luck, you know, thank your stars that nobody spotted you occasionally. It's really amazing to see it from kind of a Falklanders perspective, because we've seen so many images from the military aspect of it and the ins and out of them, where you're not kind of in that world and then kind of seeing it arrive literally on your doorstep. Is, is something like really amazing, like the snapshots through windows and then him going out and kind of seeing the aftermath of, of the fact is, is really amazing. This exhibition will be up until June, uh, until we put up our big exhibition for 82, which will cover everything. So to start with this and then to lead up into our big one in June, it's, it's yeah, it's really good. I don't think I, it ever affected my life deeply, but it was always a theme grumbling along the bottom. And I kind of feel that I've, I've put a full stop on that narrative now, and I like that, that feels good. The feeling of history is, is, is a strange thing. It feels like yesterday for us who are here, I think we need to accept that it is now history. Don't forget, but it is history, and it's not part of our, it's not, it's not something that should influence our lives too much anymore.